And in our Sunrise Spotlight, the living legends of gospel music, the Blind Boys of Alabama. I heard a voice, but I saw no one. <laughs> the voice I heard sounded so sweet. Uh, the Blind Boys will play a show in Beaverton this week before heading to the Grammys next month. Their new single, The Message, is nominated. They really are gospel royalty with a legacy that's more than 80 years old. Take the high road through the valley if you want to reach the promised land. The Blind Boys of Alabama have a rich history. The group started in 1939 at a school for the blind in Talladega. Down through the years, singers have come and gone, but all of them have been blind or visually impaired. I talked to drummer Ricky McKinney. He told me he lost his sight to glaucoma when he was 23. Well, you know, uh, a disability is just a limitation, and everybody have, have limitations. So my motto is, I'm not blind, I just can't see which means I lost my vision, but I never lost my direction. It's not about what you can't do, it's important. It's about what you do. And what the blind boys do is gospel mixed with jazz and blues. I heard a voice, but I saw no one. <laughs> the voice I heard sounded so sweet. They've won five Grammys and received a Lifetime Achievement Award. They've played for three U.S. presidents, collaborated with the biggest names in music, and even performed the theme song from the HBO series, The Wire. If you walk through the garden, you better watch your back. And the blind boys show no signs of slowing down. Nothing comes to a sleep about a dream. But if you can dream the dream, do the work, keep the faith, everything's gonna be okay. I was was love, but now I'm proud. Was I love the sound of their voices yeah. and all their harmonies. They have collaborated with everybody from Bonnie Raitt and Willie Nelson to Prince and Bon Iver. I mean, you name it, wow. whether it's past or current, they are all over it. They're so talented. And you were saying when you were doing the interview, he was letting you know when it was time to listen up. Like, here comes the good stuff. Yes, he was. He was like, hey, he goes, this is important. Pay attention now. Yeah, he was great. I mean, that's his first rodeo, as they say, doing interviews, right? <laughs> hey, no, no. this is important now. Like, yeah. Gotta let people know when to see it. All right, if you want to catch the show, it's coming up tomorrow. The Blind Boys of Alabama. They start at 730 at the Reeser Performing Arts Center. I did check earlier. Tickets are still available. Just head to the Reeser.org.